Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a new look and um, been playing around with uh, some new products that I got in that I'm not quite ready to go ahead and do a review on yet. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I have on today. So it started with the Glow Oil by Supergoof. Uh, the SPF of 50 in there. And then as far as foundation, I did use the About Face. I have mine in um, Fair Cool or Fair Too Cool. So it is definitely one of the cool shades. They have a cool, warm olive, peach, and um, is that all the undertones that they have? But um, I definitely, I did a double check on mine. Mine is definitely Fair too cool and mine actually looks really peachy to me but um like i said i'm not quite uh there as far as going ahead and getting a review yet but i will be going ahead and doing a review on this one i did go ahead and use the lys the triple fix concealer with it and i have mine in ln3 as far as what I did for the lips today, went ahead and used the Maybelline, and this one is one of their Super Stay Matte Inks in 130. And then I went ahead and put the Elf um, My Jam lip oil on top of it. So that's what I have on there. Did go ahead and use uh, the LYS, and this is the Unforgettable as far as the blush today. And so I thought that that turned out really well. I did go ahead and mix it actually with, um, let's see, where did it go here? Uh, Rose You Slay. So I have the e.l.f. Uh, Rose You Slay and the L.Y.S. Um, Unforgettable. And I went ahead and mixed these two together. And then um, it did actually come out pretty dark. And so I used a highlighter to tone it down. And I used the Hollywood uh, Beautiful Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. So I went ahead and uh, toned down some of the... This came off as a real pe uh, peachy pink kind of color. And this went ahead and toned it down a little bit. I did also use uh, the Koki. This is their matte bronzer. Uh, Koki, you can usually go ahead and get in the Kroger grocery stores. And so they're also available on the Koki website. But this one is in Sunlit, Pe or Sunlit Peach. And I thought that it just went really well with this. So I put everything together. And I think it worked out pretty well. Um, as far as what I used for finishing powder, the Physician's Formula Butter Glow. This one is in the translucent shade, so that's what I have on there. And then getting to the eyeshadow, and this is where it started playing. Um, I'd gone ahead and gotten this Glam Light palette, the Friday the 13th. And this one is the, yeah, Camp Crystal Lake. They have the... Uh, <laughs> the holographic packaging so yeah it looks it has different scenes on it it's kind of fun and with this one this blue row um i've been playing with this blue row for a while and hadn't really found a look that i really liked with it today i went ahead and put this in the crease and then i put this one on the outer corner but I ended up really going ahead and mixing it with some of the Luxy shadows. And I had gone ahead and ordered some of their duochromes over at Luxy. They call their duochromes Auroras. And so I had gone ahead and picked up a couple. And I hadn't really, like I said, with this, the blues in here, I'd been having some problems getting a full look with. So what I did was I went ahead and mixed some of the Luxy shadows. And so I started off with this one, which is November Rain. And I went ahead and put that one right on the brow bone. And then as far as what's on most of the lid, I have the feels on most of the lid. And this is going to be a gray to a purple duochrome. And November Rain is basically a blue to a purple. So, oh, and this one, the feels has some gold in there too. So these are what I've, or what I've put on so far. And then on the outer corner, I went ahead and grabbed Splash. 
So I went ahead and put splash on the outer corner. So I'm just like going to town with the multi-chromes. I have all the multi-chromes on and it's kind of fun. So, um, and then uh, right on the top part, it wasn't, trying to put multi-chromes together can be really difficult because multi-chromes, you know, you, you don't know whether the blue is going to show up the most or whether the green is going to show up the most or in this lighting, whether it's all going to go together or if you're out in natural light, is it all going to go together, you know. Uh, lots of things to think about with duochromes that you don't necessarily have to think about. So I got to the point where this whole top part up here was looking kind of bare. So I went ahead and brought in a JD Glow. This is Good God. And it's a really pretty one. It's from their Galaxy collection. And you can get JD Glow on their website. Uh, this one I put right up in through here and it def definitely is going silver pink and blue and there may be some more colors in there in fact well it's this one mm, yeah I'd say this one is a multi-chrome I don't think it's actually a holographic shadow it kind of has that same feel but it's not exactly the same thing so um yeah, that's what I went ahead and put on the eye. I also did go ahead and use an Emeride eyeliner as well. And so I put all the holographic shadows that I could think of onto my lid today just to see if it would work. And here's how it turned out. So I kind of like it. Um, I kind of like having, you know, enough of... Um, uh, one duochrome kind of fading into another duochrome with another duochrome on the top and it just it's it's a lot of interest i have to admit um definitely probably not your everyday look but um it can be done i didn't know if it could be done until i did it so um i'm sure other people have done it as well that's um but it was a lot of fun going ahead and just seeing if i could get them all to work together and to tell you the truth the feels shadow kind of it went a lot more um it, it looks purple and silver but actually with the look that i'm doing right now it brought out all the gold in here and you don't usually see the gold but like i said it brought those all out but there's enough gold in splash which i put on the outer corner to kind of like uh it blends enough in there that it's kind of fun so the front part of the lid is feels and then the outer part of the lid is splash so those two actually ended up working really well the gold in both of these uh was enough to go ahead and carry it through really loved that and then as far as november rain goes november rain actually has a lot of the same colors that this good god uh shade from jd glow does and so the blues are both periwinkle blues in here and so uh with this one i actually have it on the brow bone and then this one i have above the brow bone and they blend into each other too so um i'm gonna be doing more of this playing with multi-chromes and seeing how i can get them to blend together and do different looks and it's really become um a hobby for me i guess i didn't expect like uh, multi-chrome eyeshadows as much as i do and being able to see how to put them together is just so much fun and so I'm really enjoying uh, the multi crims that I do have. And I think I'll probably be going ahead and ordering some more multi crims and some holographic shades and um, seeing, you know, how to put together some multi chrome um, palettes or some multi chrome looks or quads or, you know, quints or that sort of thing. So 
definitely going to be doing that. Definitely going to be doing some more palettes and complexion products as they come out. Um, but um, just had to let you know that this spring I was planning on going ahead and using the Glam Light to go ahead and do a whole bunch of, well, winter into spring. The whole that whole time period, you know, the whole plan was to grab some of the glam light, some of the darker palettes, and go ahead and do some darker looks and uh, mix them with um, some of the super shocks and some of that. And I've been doing that, and it kind of led me into the multi chromes. So not only do I want to be, you know, keeping up with the new makeup that's coming out, but uh, really have found what I consider to be sort of my jam at the moment, and I am really enjoying the multi-chrome, so I will definitely be playing with more of those. And uh, that's my explanation, explanation of where we're going spring moving forward. And um, yeah, we're going to be optimistic. Spring is almost here. Yay! And get going on the new stuff. So I'll see you later, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!